Hi, this is Chris from coolthreads.co.uk. I'm just putting together this short video just to show you how easy it is to design your own clothing on our website. Okay, so we go to coolthreads.co.uk and if you, if you scroll down on the home page you can see that there is a lot of products. You can choose any of these products. So for the purpose of this we're just going to work on a t-shirt. So I'm just going to choose this value weight t-shirt here. And as you can see that gives us a picture of the t-shirt and the decorate now option. So to go into our decorating software we click on decorate now and that brings up our decorating software. Now down here you can choose the colour of the garment. Um, I always start with black. Um, the reason I start with black is because things show up better on black. Uh, you can change this once you've done your design, so don't worry about it. You can change that. You can do the design and then change the colour to uh, of the garment to best match your design. So we're just going to do a simple design. Um, so as you can see here on the right hand side, we've got uh, add text, add design, add team name. We're just basically going to add some text. Okay, so we've got a couple of options here uh, for this particular garment. One is screen print text, and the other is digital print text. On screen printing we have a minimum order of 25. On digital printing the minimum order effectively is one and it's the most cost effective way of doing it. So I'm not ordering a bulk order here, I just want one t-shirt for um, let's say a stag weekend. So I am going to choose digital printing. Right, so hypothetically a friend of mine Max is getting married and we're going on his stag weekend so it's asking me to how to add the text. So Max is... Max a stag weekend, so I add the text in here and click add text. Now what the software will do then is it will put the image on the t-shirt. Okay, so as you can see it's brought that text in. Now what we're going to do is, I don't like the red, we're going to make it white. So up here we can change the font or we can change the colour. Uh, I've clicked on the down arrow at the side of the colour and you can use the slider system to mix and match your colours or I like to click on standard colours and you can just choose a colour from there. I'm going to choose white and as you can see it updates in real time. Right, now what that's done is we've got obviously Max's Stag, Stag Weekend here uh, if I click on that it brings it up um, into a zoom view for us. If I click on that it takes us back down. So it works a bit like Adobe software where is it puts it in layers. So if we click on Max's Stag Weekend here it brings the controls back. What I want to do is that looks particularly boring. I'll keep the font but it looks particularly boring. So on here we've got some options which is effect, gradient, warp and outline. I'm going to go to warp and as you can see warp will do it. Now I'm going to go to a basic arch over effect and as you can see it updates it in real time. If I choose wavy it will change it to wavy. But we're going to stick with arch over. Okay, up here on the right we have got some options so we can increase the size, we can change the position of it, we can even spin it round if we want. So it's very customizable as you can see, but at the moment we want that straight. So I'm going to put that up at the top there, Max's Stag Weekend. Okay, once I'm happy with that, all I simply do is continue. So we're having Max a Stag Weekend now. Let's say we want to bring an image in. So I've just, to be honest, I've just got an image off, off the internet, but we're going to add a design. We know we're already doing a digital print, so it's digital print again. There is a possibility that if you've got something in Instagram, you can connect your Instagram account or your Facebook account, and it will bring those images across. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload, upload an image that I've got on my desktop. So it's simply we choose the file 
and I go to my desktop and drunk Spider-Man. This is a picture of Max um, dressed as Spider-Man drunk. So we click OK and as you can see that's uploading in. Now it goes through this just to check that you have cop the copyright permission to use this image, which I have. So we click OK and as you can see it's brought that image in for us. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to position it and I'm going to change the size of it just like that. Okay, so if I click on that now, it will bring that zoom view up. Let's go back out and um, we'll go back to the image here. And there is some effects and border effects. So if we want to grayscale it, we can change that and it will update it. If we want to give it a sepia tone, etc., we can do that. But we don't want that. The borders are quite good. Uh, as you can see, you can bring it, you can you can put a border around it. I like this one here because that gives it a s soft edges. The other option here is if you ever see these t-shirts that have got like a, an aged effect, this can do that, but it only works on some images. You can see it's made it look a bit aged on the corner, so we'll stick with that. Okay. So what we can do now is we can hit the preview button, and the preview button brings us that up, and there you can see we've we've designed, designed a basic T-shirt. Click close. Now, right at the beginning, I said that you could actually change the color once you've done the design. So. I'm not really happy with the black. I think that we need to change the color. So let's try blue. So we click the blue and as you can see it updates it. That, I'm, I'm happy with that. So once we're happy with that, you choose your size down here. I wish I was a medium, but I'm not. I'm an extra large. Add to cart. Follow the cart through, purchase your item and we will prepare that for you we would through our printing process and that will come out to you in the post and it's as simple as that